the science for schools. In this episode, we're going to separate a mixture of salt and water by distillation. In an earlier episode, we separated salt and water by evaporation and we lost the solvent, which was the water. We were only left with the salt. When you use distillation, you're left with the salt and the water. So you save both the solvent and the solute. For this experiment, you're going to need a Bunsen burner, round bottom flask with your mixture in it to have salt water in here. I've put a bit of red food dye in there just to make it clearer to see. Retort stand, you need your Liebig condenser and you need your beaker here to collect your water. You also need goggles on because you need your eyes to see the results. Now first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the water on to flow through the Liebig condenser. It's important that you have the bottom hose going to the tap and the top hose going in to the sink. Okay, so this lets the water flow from the bottom up through the condenser to the top. Next thing I'm going to do, I'll turn on the blue flame here and I'll start heating up my mixture. Now my mixture of salt and water is going to heat up. As it heats and boils, the water is going to evaporate. It's going to come out through this tube here and into my Liebig condenser. Now the cold water that's flowing through this Liebig condenser will cool down the steam and condense it back into a liquid water. We'll collect the liquid water in here in this jar. Now it'll take a couple of minutes to start, but once we see a bit of steam coming through here, you'll start to see a few droplets of water dripping through, and then it will get a bit faster after that. Okay, so now we have the steam coming through here, and you can see the water dropping into the beaker. And you can notice that it's actually clear water that's dropping into the beaker, instead of the red water that's in here in the round bottom flask. Now I'm just going to turn the heat down just a slight bit. We don't want it to boil too vigorously. If you boil the water too fast, the steam will shoot through the Leibniz condenser too quickly and it won't have time to condense down back into water. So you can see a good bit of water has started to collect in the beaker. We'll keep going until we have all the water from the round bottom flask in the beaker. Okay, so guys, you can see here, we have our water, which the salt was dissolved in, has moved into this beaker here, through the Liebig condenser. And then you can see inside the round bottom flask, you can see all the salt has now formed around the edges of the round bottom flask. Uh, the reason why it's a dark colour instead of white is because it's actually mixed with the red food colouring. I just thought it would be easier for you to see the salt at the end. Okay, so that's the end of that experiment, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something and I'll see you next episode.